Good day, everybody. I'm going to connect this torch to my hydrogen generator. This actually, the box actually says it can be used for more than just propane. It actually mentions hydrogen. So I just added these rubber tubes onto it. And I can connect one to the oxygen outlet right here. Normally I just vent that into the air. And then here's my hydrogen line that I use for filling balloons. I'm gonna get that hooked up and be right back. Okay, the torch is hooked up. There's the oxygen connected to the green line. And the red line goes to the hydrogen right back here. It's a hydrogen outlet, rubber tubing, and that goes into the red line. Um, yeah, I can, I can feel that air coming out. It's because it directs it into a jet, not air, you know, hydrogen oxygen mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out first. Let's so the reason for this experiment is I'm going to be melting salt, ordinary table salt. Try this side. And you know, salt melts at over 800 centigrade, which would be, I'm not, I'm not sure, but over 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's quite high. And I'll show you that this is powerful enough to do that. Okay. Oh, got it all over the place. Looks good. Light the torch. That's not up all the way yet. I'm gonna crank up the hydrogen here. It's probably good enough. Well, actually, move the salt out of the way. Here we go. There we go, already. Look at that, molten salt. I better stop. Turn the current down here. Is it, it'll just you can turn. It's not gonna um flash back because this is made for for hydrogen and oxygen or any any um fuel and oxygen. So it's important to note that since the gases aren't coming out of gas cylinders as they normally would for like welders and such. You must leave both of the valves completely open. I'm talking about the valves on the torch itself. Here you can see the red valve, which is for the hydrogen. There is also a green valve, which controls the flow of oxygen. If I were to close these valves to stop the torch, that would build up a lot of pressure in my hydrogen generator, and the hoses would start popping off. You don't have to turn the hydrogen generator off to stop the torch like I did, though. You can safely set it down so that it's not going to burn anything and then you could remove the oxygen line from the torch and then remove the hydrogen line. And now I'll have a little piece of solid salt when that cools down. But the cool thing about that is when it's liquid like that, if you were to pass an electric current through it, um, you will actually get sodium metal and um, chlorine, which I would not do inside with the chlorine gas. Um, and the sodium would be, it'd be hot enough that it would be a liquid, probably almost a gas, um, at that temperature. And yeah, so that's, you saw how quick that was. And I only had the hydrogen generator on a liter a minute. And that thing is capable of two liters a minute. So the flame would be you know, twice as intense as that. All right, thanks for watching.